In this video, I'm going to show you from start to finish how to grow iris. And I just bought these bulbs from the 99 cent store. These are one of the bulbs I've found success with. I'll never do a video on something that doesn't work for me, so rest assured you can buy iris from the 99 cent store. You don't need to spend big bucks on it. This was Dutch iris. They came in three colors, yellow, white, and purple, and they were a dollar a piece, so it was very reasonable. For 25 bulbs, I spent about five bucks. I also went ahead and bought some crocus, which I usually buy at Home Depot, so I'm excited to see how they fare. This is my amaryllis, and it just bloomed, so I had to show you guys. It's so pretty. To get started, I prepared some soil, compost, and I had about 15 bulbs that I took out of the bags. I also have miracle Grow, which for whatever reason, I get so much hate on in my videos. But not everyone makes their own compost, so I just want to make sure that I can make this video as well-rounded as possible. You don't need to use miracle Grow If you're against it, you don't even need to use compost. I'm just adding in both because I wanted to have big showy flowers this past spring. Plant your bulbs about 4 inches deep, and then they can be anywhere from 2 to 4 inches apart from the other bulbs. I went ahead and covered all the bulbs with garden soil watered them really well and then i'm going to go ahead in and add a second layer of compost this ensures that the nutrients don't get washed away with the constant watering bulbs should be planted in late summer or fall but here in california we can get away with planting them in the winter and it's interesting because stores are still selling bulbs right now and i remember last year i actually planted my bulbs in february I prefer planting my bulbs in pots just because I've found the most success with that. For example, I can manipulate the elements, I can move it into part shade, full sun, I can add compost, check how moist the soil is, it's a lot easier. If there's one takeaway from my videos that I want you to understand is that if you don't know where to plant your bulbs or flowers, always look for weeds. Weeds signify that the soil is moist, that it gets enough water, and that it gets enough drainage. Iris needs to be planted in full sun with very well draining soil in a spot that gets enough water. I have found when I've planted them in pots, I've had more success and I want you guys to also be successful. I like to show the before and afters of everything that I grow, which is why I haven't posted in a while. I have a few videos I'm about to post and I still respond to each and every one of your comments, so leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks to everyone who subscribed and I really want to wish you a happy new year and to please stay safe out there. Everybody's getting this new strain, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I put a lot of love and effort into my videos and I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching.